Hi guys, my name is Grayson Jacobs, and today we're going to learn how to clean and use an analytical balance. So right here we have our analytical balance, we have our way boat, we have our way paper, we have our scooper, we have our solution, our cleaning, and a little wipe. So first thing we're going to learn is how to balance a sample on an analytical balance. So you're first going to turn it on. And let it do its thing for just a second. Six, five, it's just counting down. Perfect. Then you're going to take the top off and set it aside. And then you're going to put your way boat on top of it. Now notice, even though it is very light, it's still has a weight. And what we don't want is we don't want this weight to be in our weight of the sample. We don't want it to affect it. So you're going to press tear here, and it's going to put it to zero. That means that whatever else you put in the weigh boat is going to be weighed, but not the weigh boat itself. So we're going to take our solution, and we're going to measure out a certain amount. Now, you'll have spec specific amounts of solution or your sample that your teacher will want you to do. But for this, I'm just going to show you that you will take in, you will put in a certain amount, and you can see it's 0 0.708 grams, and you can add in more. Keep going, keep going, keep going and now you have 6.427 grams. So it, get, it can weigh a good amount, but it does have a max, and you'll know that max when this just does not show anything. It just will be unreadable. So the f one of the things you can use is a weigh boat, like we showed here, and you can put in more liquids or heavy samples. The other thing you can do is use weigh paper. Now, the way paper, what you'll want to do is you'll want to fold it in half, cross like this, like a triangle, and you're going to want to do the other, just the same, here, so you kind of have like a kite formation. And you'll put your sample in the way paper, and again, you'll put it on. You'll tear it, then you'll put your sample in. Then you'll weigh it, and you put however much you want in, how much you need, and then it'll weigh it, and then afterwards, you just take your weigh paper out, and you can dispose of it later. Now, for weigh paper, we usually use a solid or a, a powder-type sample, and that's where your scooper will come in, because you'll go into your sample, you'll scoop it out, and you'll put it on your weigh paper and you do however much you need. If you put too much on, you can take it out and put it back in. If you need more, you take it out, you put it on. So, the, so this is helpful for solid samples. So now that I've shown you how to use an analytical balance, now we're going to learn how to clean it properly and, and how you'll store it. So make sure that it is off. And that is unplugged. So we will unplug it. Now, some analytical balances have a top that comes off. This one does not. But we're going to take our alcohol and we're going to put it on the wipe. And we're just going to go over and wipe it down, trying to get any excess amount of powder and sample that is left over. You'll get the sides. And just to make sure, it is all clean. And then you're able to put back on the top, and you can store it as you normally would. So, and another way in which you can do it or clean it is 
to take a brush, like a small brush, and just wipe down the inside. That is for an analytical balance that has sliding doors you can take back and forth, and then you can sweep it out. But for this one in particular, what we're allowed to do is we can wipe it down with alcohol, and it'll capture all the particles that we need, and that is it. So my name is Grayson Jacobs. Thank you for tuning into this video, and I'll catch you on the next one.